Hello everyone, how are you doing? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hello, hello, thank you for stopping by. My name is Ori Toke and um, you can always call me Toke for short. And on this channel, we talk about your growth, self-development, building yourself, being the best version of yourself. And today I'm going to be sharing digital tools that will be helpful to you when studying as a student, tools that will be of help to you, that you can use to write your assignments, you know, your presentations, your academic writing, all of those things. And um, I'm sure you would want to stay tuned because by the end of this video, I'll be sharing one more tool that will really be of help to you. So please stay tuned. The tool that I'm gonna be talking about is the Grammarly app. And um, this tool actually helps you to improve and it makes a difference and helps you in how you're perceived in your right top. And Grammarly actually helps you to improve in how you communicate effectively. It helps structure your writing to suit your target audience and your preferred writing style. For example, academic writing. So the thing is, as you write, it finds mistakes and it helps you to correct those mistakes. And another thing about the Grammarly app is you can easily integrate it into your web browser. I mean, your web browser and your docu doc app like your document apps so you can have Grammarly on your preferred documentation software and all that so and um, I will just chip this in and this is from me personally I advise you not to also fully rely on the app what I mean by don't fully rely on the app is because you can be flagged it's like your write-up can be flagged as plagiarism if you fully underline the word if you fully rely on the app but aside that all you just need to do with the app is to you know help you to like really you know polish your grammar and it's 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 gonna be really it's gonna be of help to you. So guys, the next one is the Google Scholar. You need the Google Scholar and it's very it's accessible to you because you can just easily check on your browser. The Google Scholar is available to you and. Um, for this one, you need Google Scholar because of like referencing. You can actually get books on Google Scholar. It helps you with books. You can just search for the name of books. And I feel like this one is like something that you have at your fingertips and it's free. So uh, schoolwork, topics that we're discussing, you know, I'm able to find books. And then I now use the Mendeley app. The Mendeley app is like a reference manager for citation and for like custom or personalized um, bibliography. Now all this that I'm trying to say is like, usually in school, when you're doing your write-up and all that, you need to also add your reference. So for me, what I do is, because I always use myself as an example, what I do is, I get books from like Google Scholar, I go through the books, you know, because obviously school is majorly what you're taught in school and um, a large percentage of like your research, what you're able to like get together to show that, okay, this is a, these are the things that you learned. So for me, I get books from Google Scholar, like I said earlier, and then I, I use the Mendeley app, which is a reference manager. So I use it on my Microsoft Word. It helps me and it just makes my work really easy. So when I see the book I really need on, on the Google Scholar, what I do is I save it, you understand? I save it and um, I use the Mendeley app as a reference manager and automatically I just I just integrate it into like what I am doing, my schoolwork or my assignments and it really makes my work very easy. So it's easier for me to just, you know, do my citation and you can see the bibliography at the end of the work. The next thing we're going to be talking about is the Microsoft Office and the Google Workspace. This one is, is packed and um, it's packed because on this you would find Microsoft Word document. You would also find slides and PowerPoint that you can use. You would also find sheets and Excel that would be of help to you that you can use for documentation, presentation, and all of those things. So I'm not going to stay on this one. The next one is Draw.io. Draw.io is a very nice tool that you can use to draw your wireframes. And when you're making, doing presentations and you know, writing your assignments, you can easily use it to draw wireframes. And um, uh, recently, uh, I just finished one of my assignments and 
I, I think I used it last year also and it really made my work easy. It simplifies your work. Your Chrome, your browser, whatever it is, check, just write draw.io and then you would find like tools that you can use to like draw wireframes like I said and um, you can, it, it, for me, it helps me to like minimize, it helps me to to reduce work load and it just makes my work neat in a way that's like i use it for to simplify when i'm trying to explain something especially in my write-ups my assignments it helps me to draw diagrams to like like i said simplify work and it just makes things really fast and if you're a very creative person you know the more creative you are the easier it is for you another one is the canva like the canva app here yeah. And I'm sure you're wondering, ah, I thought Canva is for content creators and no. Canva can be used for way, 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 like other things. It can be used for presentation, graphics design, logos for your assignments. You can use Canva for so many things. And like I said, the more creative you are, the better it is for you. Yeah, it would really make your work appear neat and just get creative with it. If you made it this far, thank you so much. Okay guys, so the bonus tip I'm going to be leaving with you guys is the turn it in tool. Turn it in. Yeah, I'll put it on the screen. Anyway. So this tool is very valuable because you can always go and check your assignment. You can always upload your assignment there to check if there is any plagiarism. And what a lot of people don't know is there's like an amount, like there's a number of time rather. There's a number of time that you can always submit to check if there is any plagiarism in your assignment, at least to an extent, you know, to reduce the percentage and all. Actually, it depends. Most times, three times in a day, you can upload on the Turnitin to check for plagiarism. But most, in most cases, I would advise you to actually reach out to your school before you do something like that, your academic officer, like someone who is in charge to uh, explain because if you want to do that you have to notify them that you just want to check in a case where you're not sure if your school or whatever institution you're studying would allow you to upload on turnitin up to three times daily to just check if you have mistakes and all that make sure you verify from your school or your academic officer it's important so that you don't make mistakes but in my own case, I'm just telling you what I do that has actually helped me. For me, I always do my assignments ahead before that time. So it's easier. You understand what I'm saying? For me so far, I haven't had any high percentage of plagiarism because most times it's always like 1%, 2%. Like, although for me, after doing my research and using whatever tools that I have at hand, I make sure I write it the way I understand. So this is this tip now is me now. It's just me explaining how I do my assignments. And I write I write my assignments, academic writing and all of those things. I do it the way I understand. And then I just use maybe Grammarly and some of these tools I shared with you to check if there are any mistakes and all. That way by the time I upload it on Tonitin, even if it's just to check for plagiarism and all, like there's like little or no plagiarism and for me it has really helped me so my my advice to you about like academic writing your assignments powerpoint presentation is to actually always do your assignments like way way before like submission dates this thing has actually helped me like there was a time i did assignments and i had to submit last minute and all but thank god like i knew what i was doing and i helped had like little help and all that but then i would advise you to always do your assignments like do your assignment make sure you finish on time before the deadline so that you can always go to turn it in submit it and you know you can tell that okay there are so many like red lines too many plagiarism that you can quickly you know go back correct you know it gives you more time to assess and just know where everything is and you for me it's gonna help you if you need good results you need these tools and thank you so much for watching till the end i hope this video was valuable i hope you're able to learn all the two things in this video i'm gonna see you guys very soon i'll see you in my next video like share and subscribe to my channel i see you guys every single time i see your messages thank you so much have a nice day bye